In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up GDPR options in your MailChimp signup form. And we're starting right now. So last week, MailChimp rolled out their spring update. Uh, a lot of features, one of which I've already talked about in a previous video, which you can find here, where I talk about the ability to add in video to the MailChimp landing page. The other one that they rolled out is the ability to add in GDPR options to your MailChimp signup form. So that's where I'm going to be talking about today. But before we get there, a quick request for you to subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, be sure to click the bell icon so you won't miss another video that goes up on the channel. All right, let's get started. If you click on learn more about our new form fields, it'll take you to this page. So MailChimp does a good job of outlining everything that you need to do here. I'm going to leave a link to this page down below in the description that you can go check it out for yourself. But basically, the GDPR stands for the General Data Protection Regulation. It's coming out from the EU, the European Union, and it's going to get rolling off on May 25th, 2018. It's been at least a couple of years in the works and it's just coming out to fruition. And basically it's uh, the, giving the ability to consumer to control their data, one of which is the ability to give consent. And uh, for you to have a MailChimp list or any list, any email, like email list, you will now have to ask permissions, get consent before you do anything with their data or you won't be in compliance with the new GDPR laws. That's what this is all about. This is about, it says right here, to give a freely given, specific, informed, and unambiguous consent for contacts. You must clearly explain how you plan to use their personal data. So that's what this does. So let's get started working out the details. The first thing you have to do is go into list name and defaults. And to get there, you go to lists, go to settings, then list name and defaults. While you're here, you want to activate enable GDPR fields. You click that link. You click that checkbox there, and then you go down here and save list and campaign details. From there, you gotta go over to your form, your sign up form builder. I'll go back a step here so you can see that. So you go back to lists, go to sign up forms, go to form builder, click select. And then if you scroll down here, you'll see this new section here called marketing permissions. Now, if I click on that field, you'll see over here on the right hand side that the information is changed to the GDPR options. So the field label, and we're gonna to get to the next section, uh, is important. In the description, you would put in something that, you know, you are in control of your data, this is, this is what this mail list does, and all that type of stuff, right? So what you're gonna get, what are you gonna get from us, and how are we gonna treat your data? That's the type of information you wanna put in the description. And also be mindful of the legal text. Now this middle section here are options. I just have it as email, but in here you have to, uh, um, put in all the uses that you'll be using for the email contact information. I just have email in this test, but you could put in advertising, marketing, uh, uh, retargeting, uh, look like audiences, like you have to specify everything and then get consent, okay? So the easiest one, of course, is just we want your email because we want to send some marketing material to you and give you some updates and some how to's and all that stuff that you know most people would do. Right. So just some basic. I want to give you information that's useful to you. I would just choose email. If I was marketing to them, I would have to choose select marketing. If I was going to be advertising to them or uh, uh, using their contact information for advertising purposes, I would have to expressly make that them aware that that's what's going to happen and get their consent. Now the question is, how do you get their consent? And that's the next stage with segmentation. So here's the demo list with the uh, contact information here. And all I did was I went from stats, uh, let's see, I went to manage contacts, view contacts. Okay. And then I click on create a segment. From the drop down list here, we're going to select marketing permissions because that was the label in the GDPR options. Again, you can call it whatever you want. I'll keep it as the default as marketing permissions. And if you notice here, 
uh, it has email, right? So if I went over here and I added a new option such as advertising and then save fields, go over back to our segmentation, we'll cancel that one. We'll create segmentation, click marketing permissions, and now I have two, email and advertising, and I have to create two segmentations. So I have to create, for each option, for each consent that I need to get, I have to create a new segment, okay? Now I already have one for, let me X out of that. I'll view save segments. I already have one for GDPR email. So let's create a new one for the advertising. So we'll just select advertising, contacts all. I'm gonna go to preview segment. It's gonna be a nice goose egg here. And I'm gonna over click over here, click on save segment, save as segment. So save that. We'll call it what we want. So we'll say GDPR adverts. Make sure auto update is ticked off and click on save. All right. The next step is to send out a campaign to your contacts to allow them to opt in to so get consent from them for any of those options that you've set up. So to do that, we go over to campaigns, create a campaign, create an email, call it whatever you want. I'll say test 04 uh, 212081, click begin. So you'd add in your recipients. I'll add in my test. All subscribers, click save. Who's it coming from? I'll add from my information, the subject, uh, whatever you'd like. GDPR compliance. Probably something a little bit more interesting than that. Click save. Now we click on design email and MailChimp has created their own theme for this. So we'll go to themes. We go down here and we select subscriber alerts. And then we click on GDPR subscriber alert theme. Add a logo. Um, we'll add ours here and click insert. I think we're just going to keep the default text, but obviously you would go through here and explicitly say what's going to happen, why you're getting this email, uh, why you need to opt in, talk about the regulation, et cetera, et cetera. So that's on you to come up with all of that content. I'm just going to leave it as default. I think they do a pretty good job with the default explanation. Now the updates, oops, I clicked on duplicate here. Now the update settings is just going to go to that person's profile. Now you can't preview and test this, so um, make sure you send it to a test list like I'm doing here to make sure it all works nicey nice. Uh, but basically they'll click on that link, it will open up their profile in which they can uh, click on the additional consent opt-ins, okay? So we'll click on save and close. We'll click on save and close again. Now, because I know it's going to my uh, my dummy population here, my dummy list, I'm just going to click on send just to see what it looks like. Uh, so now I'm going to go over to one of the accounts that I sent it to. All right, so here's our email, Larry Snow, GDPR compliance. And then I'm going to click on update settings. And now you see here that I've already checked off on email, but now I got to check off on advertising. So I'll do that. So this is what it's going to look like to your subscribers when they open it up. It'll be update your preferences. And MailChimp also adds this piece down here that you saw in the uh, options, the GDPR options. And then we'll click on update profile. And then the option to return to our website is available. We don't have to do that. Back on our mail list, let's go back to our mail list here. We'll go to lists, test. Oh, also you'll uh, see a GDPR uh, in blue here. 
to know that it's uh, GD is that uh, GDPR is switched on. So we'll go to test. Now we've got nothing now for the adverts segmentation. So the next part here is when you go to create your com your campaigns is to use your segmentation to send out the appropriate campaign. For instance, if a person has only opted in to receive email, that's all you can do. If they didn't opt in to uh, receive advertising or use their uh, contact information for uh, mar remarketing or targeting or uh, advertising, Facebook advertising or social media advertising, then you cannot use it. So the, the, only, the only way going forward now is to use these segmentations. So let's just walk through a quick example before we wrap up the video. So I'll go to campaigns, I'll create a campaign, I'll create an email, I'll call it testing, click begin. Now in the to field, we're gonna add recipients, we're gonna choose a list, then we're gonna click a segment. So only GDPR email, okay? So that's the way going forward that, you know, after May 25th, that's the way that you're going to have to do it. And uh, it's good practice anyway uh, to not have multiple lists uh, set up on your MailChimp. MailChimp uh, recommends you only have one list with a whole bunch of segmentation. Now that gets complicated, at least for me. Now I have multiple lists, which means I am uh, paying extra because they're not counted as one, they're counted as three, four, five, six, however many duplicates I have in all those email lists. So that's something to be aware of. But in general, it's a good practice to have one mail list that you can segment off of. So this is just another extension of that. You're adding in consent to your sign up forms. Now, a uh, couple of things. The, this does not work for embedded forms. Uh, so you can't copy and paste if I go back to list name. Let's see, I go back to sign up forms and I click on embedded forms. You will not see GDPR information here. So that's something to be aware of. You cannot copy paste this code into your website and get GDPR options. The only way to get GDPR options is with this form builder which means that you have to send out a link in order for people to sign up to that form so they can opt in to the GDPR options, right? So they can give consent. Uh, so hopefully that will change and maybe the plugins will allow you to do that. I'm not sure. Maybe that's something that they're working up, but we're a month away now. So I don't know if those plugins are gonna be up to snuff with the GDPR compliance. So we might not have embedded MailChimp forms in the near future, we will see. The other thing is, and a person's already asked me about this, the Facebook integration with MailChimp to get a MailChimp form in your Facebook page. Yes, GDPR options show up there, but they are in formatted incorrectly and people won't even be able to click on the consent options. So that's something that you should be aware of also. So that'll wrap up this rather extensive video. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, make sure you click that like button because that helps me know that this is something that you're interested in and I can do more videos about it. For more about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.